Membuka Brunch with Dave bulan Februari ini, kita ingin merayakan cinta dengan bentuk yang berbeda. Itu sebabnya Brunch with Dave menyapa teman-teman sekalian di Semeriti Jakarta menghadirkan empat perempuan luar biasa yang rupanya bersahabat dengan begitu kentalnya. Bahkan dua hadir terbang dari Bali untuk iya. Untuk bisa ngobrol di Brunch with Dave bersama dengan Jasmine Kusuma, Valerie Thomas, dan ini The Lovely Sister, Inka dan juga Modi Fitri. Ya. Welcome to Brunch with Dave, girl. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. You, I'm surrounded by fountain of youth today. Oh, magic. You are the fountain of youth. Oh, yes. I found you the sweetest. Yes. Kita ngobrol sambil makan ya. Yes. Oke, okay, please take oh care. Oh my god, who's hungry? Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Valerie well, paling duluan Me. emang benar. Yeah. Waktunya makan siang, Good waktunya brunch ya. Ini sudah disiapkan menu istimewa. Ada lumpia gado-gado, ada sop buntut, ada sate ayam, ada tumis pakis, ada ikan bakar pariaman. Start anywhere you wish. Wow. Feel Thank free. You. Minumannya uh, green detox. Oh. Duh. Ya. Yeah. extra a little bit of gold. Yeah, yeah. I know. Ada Just sentuhan gold. gold-nya. Oh. Oke. Okay. Mungkin aku pengen tahu dan mulai dengan gimana sih kalian bisa bertemu dan bersahabat satu sama lain. How did you girls know each other? Who wants to start? You can start, or Val, or Jess. I can start. Uh, okay. Sebenarnya kita semua bertemunya beda-beda ya. Di tempat hmm. yang berbeda, di yeah. waktu yang berbeda. Bener. Tapi ya, menurut aku sih persahabatan tuh bukan tentang berapa lama kita kenal. Hmm. Atau gimana cara kita kenalnya. Tapi lebih ke, kayaknya uh, di di apa nah, umur yang tepat tuh kita hmm. udah bisa ngerasain ya. Kalau hmm. misalnya... Kita mau pursue a friendship with this person atau enggak hmm. based on their, yeah, their energy mm-hmm. gitu. Yeah, kita bakal tahu kalau misalnya orang yang kita temuin sekarang tuh mau baik apa enggak ya. Hmm. Dan enggak cuma baik doang dia tulus apa enggak ya sama kita hmm. gitu. Jadi itu yang aku temuin ketika aku ketemu Inka sama kamu di sama hmm. Jazz juga walaupun kita temenannya belum selama hmm. itu hmm. tapi dengan setiap setiap kali kita bertemu itu hmm. tuh pasti ada meaningnya ya ada meaningnya ya there's always joy there's always yeah, yeah. and it's just it's not force we just gravitate towards each other hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. betul yeah. Yeah. Ya, walaupun nggak lama, we've all been friends um, because like we've been working so hard hmm. And you know, kalau kita lagi kerja keras tuh, you have to be selective with your friend group. Mm. Yeah. And it's like really important kalau kayak uh, vibes That's mereka good. tuh matching sama kita apa enggak. And when I met Val and Jazz, they both really like, although they're a lot younger than me, <laughs> yeah. kayak mereka tuh sangat and mature me. banget. And, and yeah, they really inspire me and I'm yeah. super happy. To Oh jadi Jazz sama Valerie yang paling muda. Iya. Yeah. 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 And I'm the older one. Are we the, the same eldest? age? I don't know. You're the wise 99? lady. 99? Yeah. Oh yeah, we are. We are the same age. Oh. 99. Wah, duh, dosa gue udah banyak banget tuh. <laughs> 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 eh, ini nasi loh. Kalau ada yang pengen makan nasi yeah. ya. Thank so, you. Uh-uh. Aduh, ini jusnya enak banget. Enak sih. ya. Enak, enak jusnya enak. Best. Jusnya enak. Tadi sebelum mulai, sam, uh, sementara menanti kehadiran uh, Valerie sama Jasmine, uh, Inka sama Modi cerita, rupanya awal kenalannya itu kalian berdua karena punya clothing brand di yeah. Bali, Tale of Two, ketemu Jasmine, baru kenalan sama Valerie, begitu ya? Enggak, no. jadi aku kenalan oh. sama Valerie duluan. Hmm. Kita, I don't know, kita kenalan udah lama dari Instagram gitu, terus pas sekali ketemu, we just vibe so hmm. hard. We're like, wow, like I feel like, I've known you for a for very so long, long time. You just know. Yeah. yeah, you just know. You just know when it's meant to be, when someone's mm. meant to be your friend. Gak perlu banyak berkata-kata, yeah. gak perlu yeah. mencoba untuk prove ourselves ke orang mm. itu. That person just gets it. And you don't even mm. have to like communicate all the time. Gak it's harus basa like, basi yeah. juga. Gak, it was just yeah. like flowing. Pertemanan itu, apa ya? We know that that's not the right person to be friend kalau kita yeah. punya that need untuk basa-basi terus. Yeah. Yeah. Sebenarnya kita dari awal harus apa adanya aja. Hmm. Dan itu yang aku dapetin dari Inga. Karena 
gimana ya, we're all working women, we're mm. all alpha females, we're all busy, <laughs> you know, alpha females, we have a go. very high, <laughs> we have a very high energy and like we just want to meet people that can understand that mm. yeah. without saying yeah. anything, mm. gitu yeah. loh, jadi kayak gampang banget ketika aku ketemu Jasmine, kita aku ketemu Inka, we know that kita tuh sebenarnya baru stress banget ngurusin banyak hal in our life so we meet each other just to enjoy each other's company mm-hmm. like i don't stress her out with my problems she doesn't yeah. stress me out with her problems somebody as well you know what i mean mm. we just enjoy each other's company and i think that's yeah. so beautiful to have yeah it is. like yeah. Ne- we don't judge each other we yeah. just like trying to support each other mm-hmm. it's mm. yeah it's never a competition yeah never. and when it is you know that's not Yeah, because right. we need someone in the midst of all the chaos to just really understand us and to that's, be there, to yeah. be there, and not ask many questions. You know, like I'm yeah. so proud of you for working so hard. Mm. 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 So, benar we don't need that validation because we know how hard we've been working. But it's nice to have someone that understands, that mm. sees us for mm. what we do. Mm. And kaya oh. You've been working so hard. I'm so proud of you. You yeah. know, and it's so genuine. Mm. Bukan yang julid atau it doesn't come from a person and julid mm. atau jealous atau mm. yang kayak just Nyinyir. say it, just yeah. say it because I think fundamentally, like what really bonds us together is just that we're all sincere and we're all we're all in what? this sincere. sincere. Yeah. Like you know, we're all in this friendship. So like, we just love each other. Yeah, you and know, and it's not forced. Mm. Yeah, and we are all in a phase of our life where we're like. Trying to be the best person that we can be, and trying yep. to work as hard as we can to like build a future. And you know, it's kaya jarang to meet another person who is dedicated to mm. the same uh, things as you are. Mm. So when you finally meet the people who have the same interests as you, it's like coming home. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. that's a very nice way of describing the friendship. Yeah. It's like coming home. Yeah, yeah it is. Right? Real queen fix each other's right. tiara. Yeah. Padahal, kayak ini kita padahal tuh nggak tiap hari komunikasi, nggak tiap hari chatting juga. Jadi cuma kayak mungkin 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 seminggu sekali aja ya. Yeah. Like telepon or just like just checking up on checking each other. Checking up, yeah. But we already know. We already feel that okay. Uh, we're like uh, bestie forever or like you sister. <laughs> Not best, more like We're sister. Yeah. Yeah. More like yeah, sister. more like sister. More like family. More like family. It's deeper yeah. than friendship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really so does. It is. It is. It is. Because yeah. like with these girls, I can be like myself. <laughs> <laughs> she's struggling with the bell. Yeah. <laughs> like we can be ourselves, and there's just no shame or there's no awkwardness, mm. you know. Mm. So I really appreciate that. You can just truly be yourselves, and I think now, especially we live in. A society, in a society where we're constantly needing to prove ourselves to so many people and always like, I don't know, there's always a script for what we want to say to people. Mm. Maybe you know they're your true friends when you just forget about the script in your head and just say how you truly feel. Mm, yeah. Like you can really feel completely like so bad that day. Mm. Maybe you know that Once I voice it out to my friends, I won't be ruining their day. Mm. Yeah. Tapi kan ada banyak orang yang, oh, yeah. should I say this? Nanti I'm gonna ruin their day. Mm-hmm. They're not your friends mm. if you still have that. Mm. Yeah, that's true. But once you start letting go of all these expectations and just understanding your friends for who they are, that's when you understand that you don't have to have a script in your head or you mm. don't have to have something to say mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. You just have to say to your friend, "Oh, I feel like shit," and they don't, mm. and they don't bother ask you. you. Yeah, they But ask you what you what want you to, what 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 they want you to ask yeah. because they know what you. we can help you, what what yeah. we can do to help you, or to like yeah. to ease your, you know, your doubts or whatever mm. you have in your mind that you want to share it or whatever. But we never like, oh, you shouldn't do that, we shouldn't that, or yeah, yeah. you know, like, like telling. Like, Yeah, so, a good friend shouldn't they, always give advice. Yes. You know, that, sh- mm-hmm. that should be your psychiatrist. Yeah. A good friend is just there to listen. You know, mm-hmm. not to be like, why did you do that? Yeah. Oh, you should do this, this, this. Enggak, kita pengen didengerin. Yeah, aja. sometimes you just need an outlet, right? Yeah. Mm. So, none of you expected any advice when you went out. Unless we ask. Yeah, unless yeah. we ask. 
Okay, good point. Well, well of course yeah. we do. I think yeah. because like I'm the baby of the group, like everyone always gives me advice. Everyone is like, <laughs> but I really appreciate it. You know what I mean? Because mm. we've all been through very similar like experiences. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. so true. And I think there are things that you just, you know, dengan berjalannya waktu, you just you're more confident with yourself and your actions and. These girls are like definition of that. So I really go to them Aww. a lot for advice. Mm. Mm. Even though sometimes I disagree and we yeah. got into like little arguments, but which is normal. Yeah. It all comes from love. Yeah. 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 It's healthy honest, to disagree. It is. Yeah. yeah. Because that's where honesty comes in. Mm. And we will always have our own opinions, but mm. friendship is about sacrifice and yeah. acceptance, acceptance and yeah. understanding. Mm. And friendship is there. about acceptance and understanding. Abis ini kita akan bahas how to understand alpha females. Tadi kan Fabi bilang, jadi tempatnya alpha females oh, yeah. ya. For clueless males out there, if you're trying to understand alpha females, get your notebook ready. We'll take a short break to enjoy our courses. Jasmine yang paling kaku karena tadi dia mengakui bilang, aduh aku tuh bingung, aku takut deh makan karena I'm the messiest eater. I am the messiest eater. I was shaking just because I don't want things to go like, yeah. You are? I am a very fast eater. Me too. I am a very slow eater. Oh lengkap whenever, dong berarti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I eat like lunch with Inka, I'm finish my lunch like in three minutes and she's like, you're done? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're not done now, no? No. No, please continue. Yeah, each of us have different character, which is like, mm. yeah, very, very nice. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Speaking of character, tadi di awal Valerie kan bilang, uh, masing-masing adalah alpha female. Dan uh, itu kan juga topik obrolan yang menarik banget dari generasi sekarang ya. Dan mm. I love it how each one of you tidak malu untuk mengakui, yes, we are, we are an alpha female, so what, gitu. Uh, pengen tahu dong dari kacamata kalian sebagai alpha female, the best way to handle you from a male perspective. Oh. Oh. Kalian tuh ingin, di, ingin dipahami seperti apa sih uh, oleh laki-laki? Mungkin buat aku ya, hmm. untuk mewakili alpha alpha female di sini, <laughs> mungkin kita butuh laki-laki yang punya kepribadian yang sangat kuat. Hmm. Karena kalau laki-laki punya kepribadian yang sangat kuat, kita punya partner di mana dia bisa membantu kita bangun lagi ketika kita jatuh. Hmm. Dan ya, yeah, dan kita sendiri because we're alpha females and we're strong, I feel like we're able to do the, the same thing to them. Hmm. Okay. Kita bisa memb- iya, yeah, kita bisa membangun mereka ketika mereka jatuh dan ketika kita jatuh, dia bisa membantu kita membangun diri kita lagi. Hmm. It's a partnership. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. 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 Itu penting banget to have a guy yang kepribadiannya kuat soalnya sebenarnya as an alpha female we when we come home from work you know we just want to be gentle and soft and yeah we that's true just love you know as we hard like yeah we as like hard it. as we work yeah. that's we like we like being alpha mm. at our workplace tapi at home you want to be, be nurturing yeah. you yeah. want to be cared mm. yeah We we're still women, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we love working hard. We mm. want to be the best that we can be, so mm. we can help as many people around us. Tapi ah. ujung-ujungnya pas pulang tuh, we're just another fragile, mm. woman. intricate wanita. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's a very interesting point of view, bahwa. Uh, do not get intimidated by the labels of alpha female. No. Gitu ya? yeah. Karena itu di luar, di pekerjaan, yeah. alpha female, alpha female, begitu pulang ke rumah, dia tetap menjadi dirinya sendiri, perempuan tetap perempuan gitu ya. Yeah. Pemahamannya masih sama, begitu kan? Iya. Yeah. Yeah. Pengen dia mengerti juga, pengen hmm. dikasih perhatian gitu. Walaupun hmm. di luar tuh kayaknya bos, uh, act like a boss, but hmm. we still like, you know, still wanna be someone to be guided by mm. our men mm. or yeah like that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, arti emansipasi buat kalian. To be able to do whatever I want whenever I want, mm. to be able to voice <laughs> out my opinions. Mm. Just I think that's true freedom, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. To be free in what you wear, how you think, how you act. Ooh, mm. Yes. What you wear, how you act, Who you, how you think, how you think, how you present yourself. There's mm. never a right or wrong answer to that. Mm. Mm. 
Hmm. Kan nggak ada ya kamus untuk jadi manusia gitu. Yeah, yeah. Semua hmm. orang pasti punya kepribadian yang beda-beda. Like yeah. how we show freedom, how we express ourselves is a part of freedom, a big part hmm. of freedom. And I feel like there are lots of cases where women feel that they can't express themselves. Padahal itu ya arti bebas hmm. gitu loh hmm. buat perempuan. Gitu. Hmm. Yeah. Just by looking cute, wearing mm. makeup, the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you dress, mm. you know, and not having anyone in your ear to tell you that's the wrong way to act, unless yeah. among it is the wrong way to act based mm. on morals and stuff like that. Mm. But I don't think there's ever a wrong way to act when you're truly trying to express yourselves <laughs> and to feel <laughs> that, <laughs> to feel understood, mm. which also leads like emancipation. Emancipasi. Kita juga like we also have to be in that position though, not to only be viewed that way, but as to like also give freedom to others, yeah. you know, because mm. that's like yeah. the biggest part. Like if you're okay. feeling empowered, you also have to accept other people for who they in, are. For yeah. who they are. So you don't try to change yeah. them. Yeah. You know, like whatever they say, if you, if you disagree with it, ya udah, tapi you let it be. You know mm. what I mean? And mm. I think that's the true meaning of freedom. Mm. You don't judge. Yes. If you don't want to be judged, you don't, you don't judge, judge others as well. Yes. If you don't want to be judged, you don't judge others yeah. as well. Yeah. Jadi tidak hanya mengharapkan kebebasan berekspresi dari Untuk orang lain. Yes. Yeah. Tapi juga memberikan that safe space yes. untuk orang, orang lain. lain. Yes. Yeah. I think that's the important part. Otherwise, it's not even freedom anymore. It's like a dictatorship. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta let people be who they are. <laughs> oh, baby, got a palm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apakah kalian merasa bahwa uh, generasi sekarang sudah jauh lebih baik uh, bentuk emansipasinya untuk para perempuan di umur kalian? Jauh. Yeah. Jauh. Compared to the past, 10-20 yeah. yeah. years yes. ago, mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. we've gone such a long way. Yeah. And I think especially the younger generation now, even younger than me and Val, mm. I'm so impressed because like they know what they want and they are very aware of the current social climate. Mm. Mm. And they're just so understanding and compassionate, mm. you know, and I'm so glad that we're moving in that direction now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Good point. It's a very... I think it's hopeful, you know? Yes, hopeful. Ya, kalau generasi kalian aja sudah ada upgrade dari generasi kita ya, apalagi generasi yang di bawah-bawahnya lagi kan, pemikiran kalian aja udah lebih canggih-canggih banget tuh, kan? Uh, kalau kita pengen denger suaranya Modi dong. Iya. Yeah. Kesannya gue gak terima banget kalau dia tadi sibuk punya sementara yang lain. <laughs> sibuk punya. Jadi aku colek kamu ya, Mon. Kalau dari perspektif kamu gimana, Mon? Um, honestly, I'm, I don't know about the... anak yang zaman sekarang sama yang back dan the twenties dua puluh tahun yang lalu karena kan jujur I still have that kind of um, mind yang masih agak mm. konservatif mm. you know what the parents teach us to be like mm. a woman that always like serve the man mm. uh, be um, not controlling but mm. you know like woman always like have to be uh, respect with the man whatever mm. um, their background gitu mm. So I still have that kind of conservative uh, mind, mm. which means because, like because uh, our parents like taught that. Yeah, because our parents taught us like that. So mm. the the kids these days are very like um, move forward, yeah, mm. maju banget. Lebih like, pemikirannya juga lebih kayak dewasa mm. de- dari seumur yang yang seharusnya gitu. Mm. Karena when I was her age, 23, mm. I was like still what like bump. Mm. Like I don't even think what she think, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or what she say, or even Valley. Like it was, so I was kind of like impressed with their the kids. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true, but mm-hmm. the thing is like, I don't know. Is it because of the the um, zaman ya, zaman kayak mm. udah mulai ada gadget and everything, mm. and you can get information dari semua dari setiap media gitu atau dari mana aja gampang gitu nggak dapetin informasi apapun itu. Jadi mungkin karena itu juga gitu. Oh kita kan dulu kan nggak ada media apapun. Maksudnya yeah, cuma kayak koran gitu mm. dan sama TV itu aja. Itu pun satu st- stasiun TV gitu mungkin mm. ya. Yeah, yeah. Yang mm. yang yeah. kita lihat gitu. So I couldn't agree more in what they said. I mean they're they're so um, I don't know, move forward like maju aja. Mm. Like amazing. 
But what? also, Kamodi is like my hero. So oh. she's the oh. most. You can ask all of her friends, or like even you know, oh. like in Ga, like we all know that she's like the most caring, lovely person yeah. in the mm. world. And beneran, like just like the most supportive sister ever. Thank you. Mm. So yeah, because I feel like not pressure because I'm the older here, mm. and I just want them to understand that. You know, um, life is just not about like um, what other people say or think. You know, mm. you also have to think about yourself. Mm. Uh, you're happy or not? Because I've been uh, I've been always like look after other people without thinking that I'm uh, I should I should be happy. You know, mm. I just want other people happy also. But mm. now I'm thinking that uh, no, you know what? You just think you just need to be happy with, within yourself. You know, you don't mm. think about what other people say or think. Mm. And yeah, so don't. I don't know how to say it, but mm. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kalau lebih. Yeah. Good point. Mencintai uh, diri sendiri lah. Yeah. Gitu. Personal happiness itu harus selalu diutamakan sebelum. Yeah, betul. Uh, itu maksudnya. Uh, happiness orang lain. Aku Karena pengen... aku selalu dahulin orang lain gitu. Yeah. Karena emang ajarannya dulu kan kayak, you know. Yeah. Um, Orang, orang lain harus main dulu, or yeah. whatever, you know, yeah. from the parents. Apalagi uh, sebagai perempuan. Iya, yeah, exactly. Yeah, kan? Doktrinasinya exactly. kan seperti itu exactly. ya. Kayaknya menyenangkan kepentingan yeah. orang lain dulu, mm, baru yeah. uh, nomor dua lah. Iya, yeah, bener. How each one of you describe your own happiness in life now? I would like to know. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Please do. Excuse me, what is it? Uh, how, you describe? how do I describe mm. my happiness? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> happiness to me is about being at peace with myself. Mm. Kayak kalau kita ada damai di dalam diri kita, di dalam hati kita tuh, we will always be happy. Because when you're at peace, you're not thinking like, oh, I want this, mm. I want that. You're just like, in this very moment, di saat ini, I'm happy. Like, I love me, I feel peace in my heart. And because of that, I surrender and I allow everything to happen as it's supposed to happen, like the way it's supposed to happen. So yeah, happiness to me is just to have peace within myself and in my soul and to accept myself the way I am and to surrender to whatever beautiful or hard universe. gifts mm. the yeah. universe wants to give me. Yeah. She's the Zen goddess here. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Val? Uh, I couldn't agree more to what you said. Uh, what aku happiness is simple. I feel like you need to take the equation out of being perfect and just truly understand you and completely be okay with what you go through. You can wake up one morning and feel sad but then you need to realize that this pain or this sadness and this feeling mm. is a part of you and it's temporary and nothing mm. and that, yeah and you can get through it mm. and being okay with being uncomfortable and moving past it and just going through it just makes me feel that make me makes me feel strong because mm. i can get through anything and that acceptance with feeling so much just makes me proud of myself it's mm. being able to understand my body and what it wants when it's not at its highest mm. but to be able to understand myself when everything in the world is going wrong mm. and still sitting here and looking into the mirror and looking into myself and still feeling like me mm. you know like, okay well you don't feel great but that's you right now mm. accept it it's fine everything's gonna be okay and to me that's what happiness is just to be okay with what you go through, to be okay with yourself. Even if everyone's having a great time and you're the only one that's not having a good time, you need to be, you need to understand that that's you, not mm. them. And that's who you are. That's your home, your temple. Mm. And when you look in the mirror and see yourself every day, you go to bed with her, you wake <laughs> up with her and you just have to accept her and give her love. Mm. Yeah. And that's what happiness is to me, just about nourishing mm. and understanding yourself. <clears throat> Nice. Yes, love that. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Thank you, love. Uh, I'm talking about high and low. Dari diri sendiri. Tadi kan Valerie bilang menerima uh, yourself at your highest and lowest. Pengen tahu dong, uh, the lowest. Jasmine, uh, high and low. 
kriteria yeah. terbaik diri. Uh, What do you mean? Like you are at your highest when you Ah, okay. I am at my highest when I'm surrounded by my loved ones and by my past. <laughs> I do love dancing. Oh, I you do, do. I am happy on the dance floor. Oh. <laughs> we all do actually. Yeah, we, we all, all we love dance. Oh, we love going to the disco, nice. as Modi likes to call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I love dancing with my girls, and I just also love just spending time with them. You know, just like sometimes when I feel really low here mm. and I get overwhelmed by life. It's mm. just I I would just randomly honestly fly to Bali and go to either Inka or Modi's house, and they're just always there for me. I would just mm. like message him. I'd be like, Hey, I'm on my way. And you're like, Okay. <laughs> Their house is always open. Exactly, and it's just to have someone that I can go to, and also like they can go to me whenever. You know what I mean? Mm. It's just the comfort of having that. You know, yeah. that's the mm. highest moment for me. Okay, bicara mengenai tantangan hidup nih di usia kalian masing-masing saat ini. Apa sih sebetulnya uh, buat Modi, buat Inka, buat Jazz, buat Valerie, tantangan hidup kalian? The challenge of our lives? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My challenge, because I have one son now, and my challenge is to how to mendidik mm-hmm. anak, educate, yeah, to educate yeah. my son. Oh. That's my challenge, because honestly, reading books is, is It's okay, but mm-hmm. it's not. It's not really the same like when you actually, you know, face to face with yeah, your son. Yeah. Especially now he's still like four years old, and and I'm still like learning a lot from my friends, from mm. everyone that have you know three kids. Mm. It still still didn't get me like how to do it with your own mm. son, you know. So mm. my challenge is like how to educate my son to become a good man. Mm. Oh, that's why you're so motherly to everyone. You are a mother. Yes. Inka. Me, um, the biggest challenge, I guess besides learning how to be a good entrepreneur mm. right now, I'm learning how to, it's funny how we're talking about friendship. Like, mm. I'm learning how to pick my friends more wisely. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Now, now, okay. now she start to pick. It. Yeah. <laughs> aku dari dulu I've always like loved everyone, you know, oh, like oh. you're all my best friends. But now, like, I guess when you continue to grow, you you have to be more wise. Unfortunately, like it's it's so sad, you know. Mm. But you harus harus lebih seleksi dengan mm. teman-teman di hidup kita. Mm. And it's a hard fact for me because I just want to love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so like having to lose some or you know to separate from some friends, it's susah mm. sih. So mm. that's my challenge right now. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I second that hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sama nih. Sama. Yeah. Kayaknya mm. jiwa pertemanannya kencang. Yeah. Mm. Tapi mungkin buat aku. Mm. Gara-gara aku lahir di industri, industri entertainment Bisa, ya, ya. Yeah. aku udah oh, harus milih teman dari lahir. Hmm. Udah terbiasa by default udah, akhirnya gitu ya Pak? Enggak, buat aku hmm. um, the challenges that I have to face every day, um, menurut aku the word challenges is it comes in different types and different hmm. forms hmm. and everything that you go through, every obstacle that you go through in life comes with a challenge. Hmm. And The challenge is really how do you stay centered mm. within yourself while going through these obstacles. Mm. Gimana cara kita balik lagi ke diri kita sendiri yang kenapa orang itu tertarik sama kita? Mm. Sometimes when we're clouded with fame and people mm. in our yeah. ear mm. telling us what to do, praising us for things that mm. don't completely resonate with us, mm. you start to see the world in a different perspective and mm. not in the perspective that you saw mm. it come from mm. which is a bad thing because yeah. you want to still stay centered and you need to understand kenapa aku Valerie mm-hmm. mau melakukan ini mm. gitu loh mm. not kenapa aku Valerie mau melakukan ini oh karena dia karena dia no it's because of me mm-hmm. gitu loh and i feel like the biggest challenge is just being humble all mm. the time mm. How to stay grounded Ooh. all the time? How do you navigate yourself into 
realizing that this is all temporary. Mm. It's not that real. Mm. The only thing that's real is yourself. Mm. And you need to keep being that version of yourself that makes you happy at the same time you all harus jaga diri lo sendiri. Ya. Yes. Mm. Gimana caranya kita bisa menjaga diri kita sendiri supaya kita enggak consumed hmm. by all of this sampai kita jadi orang yang jahat dan orang yang sombong dan orang yang hmm. lupa why we started doing this in the first place kan uh, ada banyak orang yang pengen they really love to share their life hmm. stories hmm. and how hmm. what they go through to give people value that they don't see and i think that's the biggest reason why i love being on camera hmm. it's just to share a lot of myself that i feel like people and wise knowledge yeah. hmm. and i feel like people would appreciate that tapi it's not to show off, hmm. yeah. gitu. Hmm. Maybe buat aku sih kayak gitu. Yeah. The challenge, yeah. yeah. Think, Very yeah. challenging indeed. Yeah. Kalau jas? Well, for me, I feel like right now, especially with social media, and there's a lot of, gimana ya, prejudice. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So <coughs> even if we don't know someone, biasa are a lot of For a lot of us, our minds are already made up. You know mm. what I mean? When it's not mm. true, mm. who someone is online and who they are, mm-hmm. when you get to know them personally, yeah. it's mm-hmm. very different, you know? Yeah. Kalau meminjam istilahnya Valerie tadi, the commercial exactly, persona of me. Exactly, mm. 100%. It's, and sometimes it's hard when other people put their own, you know, misguided opinions and, you know, yeah. on me. So that is, I'm very shy. Yes, I can't speak up, mm. you know. So I was, I'm just like, yaudah lah, biarin aja gitu. It's not me, anyways. But I do realize recently, in the long run, it actually does bother me and really makes me sad. Mm. So that's the biggest challenge for me: just being who I am and being, you know, just being brave about it. Mm. Yeah. What about you, Dave? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> No, <laughs> like, he was yeah. not ready for that. No, no, <laughs> not ready. Break. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back for dessert. <laughs> Yang manis-manis, kue kojo dessert kita. Mm. Uh, ada yang sudah pernah mencoba? Belum. Uh, kue kojo sama kayak kaya kaya pandan ya. Kayak pandan ya. Yeah, Aromanya juga kayak pandan. Mm. Mm. Mm, delicious. Always room for kue kue wow. zaman dulu kayak ibu ibu zaman mm-hmm. dulu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. I love this. Hmm. Kalau gitu pas nih sesi dessert kita mau ngomongin yang manis manis. Yeah. Pengen tahu dong uh, idealnya pasangan hidup atau pernikahan buat kalian. Pengennya seperti apa? How would you describe the perfect? Maybe it's for them, yeah, because I'm Iya, <laughs> aku baru mau bilang, kecuali Tapi untuk Kak Wadi. <laughs> hmm, kita mulai dari Jazz deh. Wow, oke. Okay. Hmm. I'm like, <laughs> that's a post. Atau masih kejauhan? I'm a Libra, hmm. so I literally cannot decide. I'm the most indecisive person ever. <laughs> Semua teman-teman aku tahu, kalau misalkan aku tuh beneran Gak, ya? No, I see everyone for their goodness mm. and for I see the bad parts, but I believe that fundamentally people mm. are good, mm. you know. Mm. Jadi kalau misalkan semua orang kan pasti ada their own, you know, kayak personalities yang they don't match with mm. ours. Mm. But I think it's just about accepting someone mm. else for who they are, you know. Mm. I think especially with love. Mm. You have to accept your partner. Okay. Jadi partner yang mau menerima dan kamu mm-hmm. bisa menerima dia utuh yeah. gitu ya. Harus sama-sama bisa menerima. That's mm-hmm. what I think is most important. Kekurangan. Kekurangannya oh, ya. Mm-hmm. Menerima everything, yeah. you know. Mm. Yeah. Kalau mm-hmm. untuk Pak, wow. aku itu dan aku juga pengen <coughs> menikah dengan teman hidup aku. Mm. Karena love is will always be there. Tapi rasanya itu mungkin nggak selamanya. Dan yang aku selalu pikir bahwa perempuan itu bisa belajar untuk mencintai seseorang. Hmm. Jadi kalau kita udah nyaman sama seseorang dan kita bisa lah bilang dia teman hidup aku. Ya kalau teman hidup kan mau buruk mau baik ya dia akan selalu ada hmm. di situ. They will always be there to make you laugh. Hmm. Gitu loh. Kalau cinta ya 
ya cinta love is love mm. but you need someone that is loyal to you mm. to you and your bare authentic self mm. ntar kalau ada apa-apa kalau cinta doang cinta tetap aja kalau cinta doang I think they can still leave mm. it's loyalty mm. for that person mm. you're down for anything with that person mm. and I want that feeling I guess it's acceptance too then, you know, if you're down for oh, with anything with that person. Mm. It's more like yeah. compromising. Yeah, compromising. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's com- a lot of compromise. It's not trying to get someone to change for you, mm. but... Or the other way around, yeah. you changing for Are that person. Or you changing for them. It's just basically two adults navigating through life together, mm. hand in hand. I'm never gonna let you go, gitu. no matter how hard mm. this gets. Hmm. Aku butuh orang yang kuat seperti itu. You need a best friend, you know what I mean? Like not only a lover but also a best friend, someone that understands you when the love is not there sometimes. Hmm. As they call it, you know, hmm. ride or die. Ride or die. Ride or die. Are you down? <laughs> no, but she's right because sometimes in a relationship itu pasti ada satu yang uh, you know, and yang satunya itu harus kuat. Hmm. Uh, how to make it like strong together you know because if both is jenuh and the other oh dia jenuh ya udah aku juga deh so it's not gonna work yeah. so when the other one's jenuh and then the other one's stronger again mm. jadi sebelah selalu ada masanya mm. kita harus salah satu harus kuat gitu maksudnya mm. so i think that's what you meant yeah and mm. yeah in relationship harus ada yang seperti itu dan harus sabar dua-duanya yeah. i think mm. so kalau sabar itu yeah, pasti so. cuma pasti ada masanya kayak when you don't when you like i'm tired i'm just yeah. like bored you know You kind of want to see like, some, yeah. like, I mean, they're trying to do something sebagai kayak batu lompatan buat kembali lagi untuk mm. ada rasa itu, gitu. Mm. Tapi harus satu orang ini harus kuat. Whatever it, yeah. whatever is the, uh, the outcome, you know? Yeah. You guys need to be able to yeah. pick Aduh, each other up. Yeah. <laughs> Tarik dari bawah, mm. kayak, no, you can do it. Mm. I know you don't believe it, but you believe it, and you know that you can do it. A good support system. Yeah, yeah. yeah benar. Yeah. Inka? Aku... <laughs> dia cengengan sendiri <laughs> begitu dicolek sama Sabrina kayaknya dia tadi udah gini asik gue nggak perlu jawab <laughs> aduh oke okay. aku ya yeah, definitely everything that they said tapi one more important fact for me is like I love I want to evolve you know hmm. so it's important for me to call I I would love to meet somebody who is as dedicated to learning mm. about the world, life, all of its secrets with me. Someone who is not afraid to try new things. Um, sacrifice juga penting banget sih, sacrifice. And number one would be someone yang sefrekuensi yeah. sama yeah. aku. Yeah. Itu sebabnya kenapa tadi Pak bilang, kita cari sahabat gitu ya. Bukan cuma sekedar lover. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> again, back to the end. Any more tips, you know? No, but I agree apa yang disampaikan oleh Valerie. Uh, life partner itu jauh lebih menantang dicari dibandingkan cuma sekedar lover. Lover, yeah. musiman ya. Lovers yeah. are everywhere. Everyone's a lover when they want to be. Yeah. 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 And then they finally yeah. And they're like, no, I don't want to be in this anymore. No, yeah. Especially for someone who's so easy falling in love. Yeah. Like me. Gampang yeah. itu juga. Beneran, jadi memang kayak tadi musiman itu. Yeah. So, yeah. and then, yeah. lanjutin. <laughs> so, nah, Dave. Dan aku tuh, more. I'm very surprised. Each one of you masih muda-muda ya, umurnya masih, aduh ini gen Z, millennials, tapi pemahamannya dalam-dalam semua loh. Yeah, bener. I'm taking mental notes so many things today. Abis ini I have to let you go, karena jadwal mereka padat, mereka akan foto untuk uh, editorial page-nya Bazar, kemudian akan bikin video ya. Tapi terakhir aja, terakhir. Dari tadi terakhir mulu, Dave. <laughs> How would you describe 2022. Oh, challenging. Very challenging. Mm. 
I did not know what was gonna come after, like, like with that of year. Oh my god, it's a very, year. <laughs> it's a year full of surprises and uncertainty. Mm-hmm. But the fact that I'm here with a smile just shows how strong I am, yeah. and that you I can get through, you are, you and are. that I can get through anything. And <laughs> yeah, just believe, continue to believe in myself, because mm-hmm. when everyone's looking down on you, you have your own back. Always. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Thank you so much Because for they sharing. Below you, so they yeah. Be, they want you to go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Udah, udah rock bottom. Yeah. Udah, no way, but up. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a toast. Cheers to that. Cheers. To cheers. love, so have... acceptance, Ooh. friendship. Yes. 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 Yes.